What's up, YouTube? It's Franklin from Do Humor, and I got a very special Pierce Your Dog Combo slash Test Hand tutorial video uh, to show you guys. Um, I've really been enjoying playing Pierce Your Dolls, and uh, I really want to show you guys off um, how versatile this deck is, as well as some combos that uh, the deck has. So, let's just get started with the most basic yet powerful uh, combo, three card combo, involving El Shadal Fusion, or any F Shadal Fusion to be honest with you, uh, uh, Squimata, and Damage Juggler or any Clown package really, um, Trick Clown as well, um, so let's just get started with this. So first we're going to just activate El Shadal Fusion, and Fusion of the Squimata and the P Damage Juggler to summon the best card in the in basically the whole deck, the entire archetype, Shadal Construct. Now, um, there's going to be two effects that trigger, and you want to activate Shadal Construct's effect first, and then uh, Squimata's effect. Really, doesn't it, it doesn't matter in this case, but there's some scenarios where it could come up. Um, so it's nice to play it safe than sorry and activate Construct uh, first. Um, anyway, with Squimata, you want to dump. Rush Shadal Incarnation, and with Construct you want to dump uh, Windy, and now um, Windy has an effect as well when it gets sent from the uh, to the graveyard by a card effect. It lets you special summon um, a Shadal card from your deck uh, to the field face down. So obviously you're gonna want to summon the other waifu that came in the uh, um, structure deck, which is Ariel. Ariel right here showing you guys off. We're going to put her face down. We show the opponent, opponent obviously, so they know what we, we summoned. Show him face down. And then we can activate another card from our graveyard, which is Damage Juggler. Damage Juggler gets banished, and it can search out any Perform Mage card monster uh, from the deck and add it to your hand. And obviously, what better Perform Mage card to get than the Clown himself? Um... Trick Clown. I mean, the guy could balance on a ball, guys. We have to search him out. No. Anyway, no, he's really good, though, in this deck. Um, anyway, we have yet to normal summon, so we just normal summon this bad boy. It doesn't matter where you put him, because you're just going to link him off, him and Construct, anyways, to summon the uh, most expensive rare link I've ever seen. Um, besides, obviously, the Solomon Great, uh, Sunlight Wolf. We're going to summon a uh, Cross Sheep. Now, uh, Trick, Trick Clown has an effect that when it's sent to the river, you could just pay a thousand and special summon them. That's what we're going to do. We're going to pay a thousand and we're going to special summon them. But Shadal Construct also has an effect. So, um, doesn't really matter what chain link we do this one. We're just going to, I would say, chain link one, chain link two, so that we can just summon Trick Clown, pay the thousand, and then we are going to get uh, El Shadal. Uh, from a graveyard due to a constructs effect. Now, now we have these guys faced up, face down, and then we have reincarnation or should rush Shadal incarnation. It has an effect that we banish uh, two Shadal cards, um, one him, one himself, and then one regular Shadal card from your graveyard. Banish them. And we can flip up a Shadal monster on our field. We flip up Ariel. Ariel has an effect that when it's flipped up, we can uh, special summon a banished Shadal monster. So we're gonna summon a construct to. Um, this is really important to a field uh, cross sheep's um, link pointer. Then we're going to activate co uh, constructs effect and cross sheep's effect. Chain link one, chain link two. Uh, Shadal construct will dump a Shadal card to the graveyard. So we're going to dump um, beast. And then. Uh, Cross Sheep has an effect that lets us special summon a monster where we uh, summon a fusion monster to its point, its arrow. So we could just summon um, Squimata back, which is um, pretty cool, I would say. These guys stay in the graveyard. And then after those chain links resolve, a new chain will start, which will be Beast. And Beast lets us draw a free card. So, let's just shuffle this bad boy up. doesn't really matter what card you draw in this case, because this is a three-card combo. So, any card is free. So, we get Mathematician, which is another broken card. Um, got a, a starter card for this deck. And now, 
we will rank up both the Trix Clown and the Ariel into Dweller. Set the set the El Shadal Fusion face down. Pass turn, and then at the start of your opponent's turn, you will activate El Shadal Fusion. Fusion these two up, and yet El Shadal win the. Right on the link pointer of Cross Sheep and do the same thing over again because this card gets a special summon. Let's dump a card. This card dumps a card as well. This card adds you a uh, Shadal Spell and Trap. So it lets you add uh, El Shadal Fusion. And it's just a vicious cycle of recyclability and versatility. Now you guys understand why this deck is so powerful. It's not that it ends on a really powerful board of like. 50 negates it ends on a very simple board of it, abyss dweller and Winda, both of which limit your opponent's options in special summoning and then you has recurability by uh, getting El Shadal fusion and um, Obviously dumping cards with construct which gains you advantage because of the Shadal effects um, And that is basically a basic combo in an ideal world. You will open up with that um it's never really guaranteed, but it's a fun little option combo there to show you guys. Now, let's just do a couple of test hands real quick to show you guys some awesome um, uh, randomness that this deck could do. Um, yeah, I'm just going to show you guys a little bit of its power. At least one test hand just to show you. So we got Super Poly, Super Poly. Shadal Fusion, El Shadal Core, and um, nothing. So, Shadal Dragon. <laughs> this is really ideally a brick hand, but at the same time, it's not the worst hand you could get. At least we got a Shadal Monster. Um, this is like the meme hand for this deck. So, we just put set a core, and we summon Beast. Uh, we set Fusion, and we set Polymerization, Super Poly. On the board, we keep the other Super Poly, and we pass turn. Then in your opponent's turn, when they draw, you activate this card, uh, which is Shadal Core. You uh, set Shadal Core right there, and then you can El Shadal Fusion. You can act is obviously when Shadal Core is really broken as well. So Shadal Core, I didn't want. I have to explain as well that when it's special, it, when it's uh, activated, you can special summon it as a monster effect, mon effect spellcaster monster that's dark, um, and then it also could be substituted uh, as any fusion material for a Shadal uh, monster. So it could be any attribute basically, but we're gonna use it as a dark. So we fusion up to make windy. And now we have a Super Poly and a Windy. So that is like probably the worst board you can make in this deck. Which is still impressive because Windy limits uh, the amount of special summons they can do. And then obviously Super Poly. Super Poly. Um, really disruptive card. So on to test hand number two guys. And um, as you can see with the first test hand we didn't end up with the most optimal hand. But we made it work. So let's see what we could do for the second one. So, not really the best hand ever as well, but we'll try to make it work as well. So, we'll activate Mathematician, activate Mathematician's effect to dump Squamata. Activate Squamata's effect to dump uh, Hedgehog. Activate Hedgehog's effect to add on Shadal Monster. To the hand and we'll add Winda Windy and we will uh polymerization both of these two guys and summon Shadal Construct. Now we're gonna do chain link one, chain link two, and chain link three. Uh, so this guy gets special summon paying a thousand the clown. This guy lets a special summon from the uh, extra deck face. I mean, from the the uh, the deck face face up or well, face down. So we show the opponent is our, our Ariel, and then construct lets us uh, send a card. So we send incarnation. We got two cards in hand. 
we're going to link off these two to make a cloth sheep so the construct I will not activate her effect because I do not want to add reincarnation incarnation back to my hand so I'm going to banish incarnation and uh, construct to flip up Ariel. Ariel activates her effect to special construct activate cloth sheep's effect to special out um, squimata and now we are going to link off these two. This is Master Rule 5, by the way. It's, we're going to rank up these two. This is Master Rule 5, by the way, so it doesn't matter. But I'll just do it right here with these two. And then we will have this card face down right here. And their turn with basically the same plus quote-unquote optimal combo that we had before when we super poly discard and summon obviously we could summon out almost anything here like Winda um, we could summon this guy Grista we could summon uh, Ven Starving Venom we could summon Shikanaga depending on what's going on in this situation but basically I think we, st we ended up with an even more stronger combo because of the super poly because we could do we could super poly your, uh, your opponent's board and we have space because the match rule 5 you can summon it in any world anywhere Plus the Abyss Dweller. So it's basically, that's that's basically how the deck plays. It plays against your opponent. It doesn't make the most sexiest boards, but um, it still does a really good job at basically what it does, which is control the game, have fun. Like, it's a very tactical game, a very tactical deck. Um, but it's a really fun deck, and it's a, I, I really, I really encourage you, if you want to get better at the game, as well as just, like, be more, like, a resource to like you use your resources correctly this is the deck for you it's i highly recommend for beginners to play this deck and um and i've only scratched the surface and what i can show you um this deck is a deck that really can just like be improved upon uh throughout um throughout mon many 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 months of playing it so I highly recommend you guys pick it up and have fun with this deck. And if you guys enjoyed this content, please hit a like, subscribe, comment, hit us on Facebook. If you see us on the street, just say hey. <laughs> um, just do all that, guys, for, for us, for do humor. Because we really appreciate it and I really enjoy making this content for you guys. Um, so, yeah. Thank you guys for supporting me. Thank you guys for 1,300 subscribers. Uh, it means a lot to me. And I, I'm glad I can uh, make a difference in you guys' lives, especially in this, during this tough time. Anyway, uh, enough rambling. Franklin from Dual Humor, out. Peace, guys.